Huffington and I am finally making the video for the Unit 1 NCP Mott Region notes that you all were assigned today. I apologize, it's been a crazy day, I've been trying to figure out how to do the screen recording and me recording on the video at the same time and I've had a ton of meetings and I know that I have emails that I need to respond to and I will get to those later um, within the 24 hours of since they've been sent. So anyway, let's get to it. Alright, so I've already made my copy. So um, if you would follow the instructions to make your copy, I'm using my computer, so the way I would make my copy is different from how you would make yours anyway. So up here, I need you all to highlight Unit 1 NC Piedmont Region. And your learning target today is I will be able to describe the physical features of the North Carolina Piedmont Region and analyze how those features impacted human and environmental interaction. So we're going to um, highlight the learning target yellow. So let's do that. And we're going to focus on our verbs. And when we do our PDSA stuff tomorrow that we've been talking about, the, like the test data that I keep pushing back, we're definitely going to do tomorrow. Um, these verbs will become more important and we'll talk about why they are important. But for now, let's just go on and highlight our verbs, but do it in a different color from yellow. So I'm going to use like the light blue color. Um, so we have describe and we have analyze as our other verb. So we're going to be able to describe the physical features of the Piedmont region and then we're going to analyze how those physical features impacted the way that humans interacted with other humans and the way that humans interacted with the environment and still do today. So here Piedmont region, if you would go on and highlight that please. Yellow. All right, so we have Mr. Lip, movement, region, location, interaction, and place. Our main highways and interstates, well, I say our, but I guess we're more coastal plain, tidewater, subregion of coastal plain. But being that I did live in the Piedmont region for about 20 years, I guess I can still use our. So the main highways and interstates um, in the Piedmont region include um, highway 64 and kind of a cut off of that is highway 264 interstate 95 um, 795 is kind of like a belt loop or a beltway that was um, put as like an offshoot to interstate 95 in the Wilson Wayne County Johnston County area like very briefly in Johnston County maybe not even any at all um, so interstate 40 440 is the inner belt line in Raleigh and 540 is the outer belt line. Um, and then you have Interstate 85 as you get more towards um, like Greensboro, that whole area, a little bit in Durham, I believe. I don't know. Anyway, so those are your interstates. And now the Great Wagon Road that I have here, that was a road that was traveled like back during settlement period. But it was very important for travel from like Pennsylvania down through Georgia. Um, and it went through the Greensboro High Point area, maybe Burlington. They're all there in, in there together, Triad. Anyway, it was around the Triad area. Um, it was very important for the um, Pennsylvania Dutch, which they weren't really Dutch. They were actually German, and I'll talk about that later on. Um, and also Scotch-Irish, who both groups of people settled in the Peabot region, and have um, their ancestors are still there today um, big population I am one of those people that's part of my um, ancestry so anyway that's that's the movement of um, the Piedmont so right here for region within the Piedmont region we have several little subregions we have sand hills the triangle the triad and the metro line of subregion we went over these uh, quite a bit with our vocabulary however i will say as far as the sand hills subregion um, i didn't talk too much about the role that golf plays in that area the masters golf tournament which is a huge internationally known golf tournament has been hosted at pinehurst which is in the sand hills um, it's been hosted i think twice within the last like 15 20 years which is a huge deal I'll talk more about that later as we get into industries in North Carolina, but just so you know that the Sand Hills is known for golf. And Triangle, Triad, and Metro Carolina, we went over those with vocabulary. So when we start talking about industries, I'll talk more about those three, but now just know that all of those subregions are within the region um, of Piedmont. 
All right, so the location of the Piedmont, it is located between the coastal plains, which is to the east, and the mountain region, which is to the west. Um, and the Atlantic seaboard fall line is a dividing line between the Piedmont and the coastal plain. And the um, fall line is somewhere in between, um, like, Wake County, Johnston County, that area. Interaction. Um, migration westward was to the Piedmont was difficult at first, like during the settlement period, due to the impact that rivers um, in the fall line and that kind of thing. And down here I have the, the Scotch-Irish, who were also known as the Ulster Scots, made up a large portion of the population. Um, more appropriate to the mountain region, but they have the Highland Games every year on Cherokee Mountain. So there's that. Uh, let's see, what else should we talk about? Oh, for movement and for interaction, another thing that was holding people back from migrating um, to the Piedmont, the rivers there are very shallow and very narrow. So for example, like Noose River here, a huge river. In Smithfield, the Noose River is like tiny. I mean, like you could take a little boat on it, but you like definitely boating in Johnston County, like where Smithfield is, um, it is not what it is here on the Noose River. And by the way, if you're wondering why I have so much like knowledge of the area, that's Johnston County is where I grew up. So that's why I'm like unusually knowledgeable about all of that. Um, the climate of the Piedmont region is very similar to that of the coastal plain. As you get closer to the mountains then in elevation, you have a temperature difference, but otherwise it's very similar. Physical features, limestone and clay soils support forest and grasslands. That is as you get more towards um, like Greensboro, like past Raleigh going into the western part of the state. In the part of the Piedmont where I'm from, we still have the um, loamy soil, the soil that's good for farming. Farming is huge back where I'm from. That's pretty much what everybody does. Uh, settled, so the Piedmont region was settled after the coastal plains around 1730 and shallow rivers, like I just said, um, they did not support transportation, but they were very good for mills, which were like factories. Um, textiles was huge in that area up until NAFTA, which is a whole thing that I will tell you about with industries. And it's something that I'm like unusually passionate about because of how it changed the landscape of where I lived. So. I was a child that knew way too much about NAFTA, um, which was the North American Free Trade Agreement. So we'll talk about all that later. One other thing that I wanted to bring up, and I do need to do the highlighting, I totally forgot to do that. Um, when you see roads, like the numbers for roads, I don't know if, if you all are aware of this, but when you see an even number, that means that the road travels east-west. If you see an odd number, that means that the road travels north-south. So like Interstate 95, that is a north-south traveled road, and 264, 64, that is an east-west traveled road. So really quickly, let me um, throw some highlighting in here since I got carried away talking. So here's your regions. Um, I'll highlight the Triangle, Triad, and Metrolina really quickly. And over here on location, oh no, I don't want to highlight everything. So over here by location, we want to do that it's located between the coastal plains and mountain region. Um, we need to remember that migration westward to the Piedmont was difficult at first, meaning during settlement time. Um, it was primarily immigrated by the Scotch-Irish. Obviously, there's way more like different types of cultures and ethnicities now but talking of settlement time and um, forest and grasslands that's more on the western side of the Piedmont settled after the coastal plains we know that and shallow rivers did not support transportation but were good for mills and farms so if you would go on and finish this like highlighting it uh, post it to your assignment on canvas if you have any questions as always please email me I hope you